it's a dark comedy, so it's a tricky uh, subject. Mainly, the male actors have to be uh, have to portray me mental illness and all kinds of crazy very well, and, very, and to be very considerate towards the subject. Action. I wanted to direct this film because it's a dark comedy and I've done dark comedy before and I wanted to try it again essentially this was the only film that um, was a dark comedy genre out of the 12 films that I can think of and also I think it's one of the most challenging films because there's uh, it's obviously it's just in one room but it's like it's different it takes place in different places within that room so it's outside of the trench within the trench which means it's going to be a lot of setups and if I'm also going to try and keep this interesting we need more like interesting movements of the camera and things like this so it's going to be straining on the camera department and stuff like that. In terms of sourcing the props it's definitely a challenge. There's a lot of props involved because we're making we're constructing a trench in the living room so there's a lot of random bits of furniture and sandbags and everything so it's fun trying to source it but yeah hopefully it'll be a really fun production with a really fun set that everyone will get involved in to make it what it is so the costume for the two characters is not very difficult but the most challenging one is the male character it's because this character gonna have uh, some mental problems that's why we do like to show this identity through these costume as aspects as well. Yeah. Um, well, we have a scene where in the visor mm -hmm. there's going to be. Um, we're using a projector to have like a type of army. Yeah, yeah, and like a re re reflection yeah. on the like, memory of the this Jane, or this character. When he was in yeah. War, yeah. yeah when, when, when he was in the war. Another effect we're using is whenever he picks up, he takes the milk bottle out of Mary's hand and it, to him it looks like mustard gas, yeah. so he freaks out and we're going to use um, different types of lighting to bring it down to reflect the mood. What I really expect to happen by the end of this term is for everyone to learn to do stuff that they've never done before and do them well enough to be a great piece. I want the film to be obviously funny, that's like the main thing. Um, I want people to find it funny, but I also want the audience to understand that the, the pain that James is kind of going through in his PTSD. Consider your mission accomplished. Some of your bit. Cut. Happy. <laughs> I really liked the character of James. Um, I liked it from the first time that I actually read the script and uh, really enjoyed the script. I uh, thought that James was a character that I could really get my teeth into. He's got a complex character. He's clearly a very troubled character. Um, the way that he is shifting in his mind between reality and fantasy, believing that the war is still going on, is a very interesting now, one moment he's in the real world, the next moment he's in his disturbed fantasy world. The set, the set was absolutely fantastic. Um, highly ambitious on the budget that you were working to, I have to say. Uh, probably the most ambitious set that I've seen. 
um, but the attention to detail was phenomenal. You know, the fact that you guys were, you know, very clearly taking photographs of every single shot so that you knew that things, where things were moved, they had to be put back in the same place. The team, I've already told the team uh, when they were all together at the end of the shoot up the wrap that I think they are without doubt the best student team that I've ever worked with. I've worked with a lot of student teams. I really enjoyed working with this team from the beginning to end. It was extremely professional. The team today um, stand above some of those. So there's certainly people that in my opinion are going to go far in whatever careers they choose for themselves. Just when we're done with that, yeah. and we're drunk, we'll yeah. know. <laughs> That's the only... We'll be like, fuck you, awesome, man. Yo, dude, that was so great.